Hello and welcome to the channel and welcome to Iberian, not Iberian Farms. I don't know why I always want to put Iberian Farms. It is not, it is Iberian Southlands. I don't know if it is from playing Lone Oak Farm too much. Oh, I made it. Look at that. A new career in parkour. I'm on my way. <laughs> Anywho, we have a plethora of things we need to get done today. I've got a truck full of grain sitting there at the sell point. They closed it down last episode before I could uh, get it sold. This thing here, does anybody know how the heck this thing works? I have no idea where stuff goes. I look on my uh, garage and it says that it's a grain silo, which is dandy, but I have no idea where to put stuff in. I do know where to get stuff out, but I just don't know what exactly it is. I don't know. What I do know is, you notice all the storage in this place? It's crazy. We've got one there, two of them over here, and one enclosed, one open. Stroll over this way. We got another one over here. We come back this way. We got that big enclosed one. The little one with the harvester sitting in it. And then this guy over here. I mean, evidently there was a very good shed salesman that came through here and uh, made themselves a killing. A little retirement money right there. Anywho, I digress. Uh, we have a truck full of grain. We need to sell it. Uh, over here, I'm going to pretend that field right over there is mine. And that's the one that needs to harvest. But let's take a quick look here. So we just harvested... You know, that actually, that might be. I'm looking in that direction. And this orange one is the one that we need to harvest. So holy cow, we can't actually see it. So the orange one needs harvested, obviously. The green one next to it. We need to, what is that, fertilize that one? Yes, fertilize that one. This purple one with no number on it next to 41, we need to plant that one. We just harvested it. And then we have the only fields we own that actually have numbers, 42 and 43. They have been planted, and they are ready for probably the second state of fertilization. What the heck? I... Uh, I am almost 100% positive that I plowed this 43, which means that I probably did not. I came over here, I did 42 and said, oh, my work is done, and I must have moved on down the road. But I know I limed it. Uh, curses the luck. You know, I think the best place to start is trying to sell our grain. And that would be, nope, nope. Yeah, there it is. We just parked it here overnight and waited. I figured that's all right. Daff beer. Okay, well, that's a bunch of grain right there. Okay, so what am I doing here? Barley. No. I have soybeans. Uh, I don't know. Now, I'm a little confused. Let's see here. We go, where are we? We're down here. It's got to be in one of these. I have no idea. Let's try this one. And I get nothing. Uh, I don't speak whatever language that is. I barely speak English, for goodness sake. <laughs> Nobody's ever going to be accusing me of being an uh, English Nazi. So, now it says, right? Let's, let's look at this. It says, soybeans, uh, right there next to corn and sunflowers. Factory, beer factory. That is where we are at, correct? That is it. We are at the beer factory. So, I have a little square over here. We can try this. Let's give it a shot. Alright. Back it up. Come on. You can make it. 
I want to sign, please. What? What the heck? I can't drive on that big thing. I don't think, can you? Hmm. I don't think it's even going to let me. Ooh, I can't make the turn, that's for sure. No, that would be silly. Why would they do that? I'm afraid if I try to dump it, it's just going to not do anything. Ah! I don't know what to do with it. I don't want to dump without a dump here thing. Let's hop out of this, baby. All right. Let's go strolling around. Oh, wait. There's one over here. I didn't see that one. All right. Okay, we're going to test my backing skills. They're not the best. Come on. There you go. There you go. You got it. Don't make me do this for nothing. Oh, there we go. We have a winner. <laughs> Woo! See, they're making me earn my money. There. Whoa, look at that money. Go, my goodness. Oh, we needed this so bad. I'm so tired of scrimping and saving. Very nice. Woo! Now we can spend it on something. You know that's what we're going to do. We've got to spend it on something. This is Farm Simulator. You don't keep money. You just spend it. All right. Let's head back. Drop off this bad boy. And we will carry on. On the way back to the farm, I remembered that I still have some grain in my harvester that would not fit in my trailer. So, as I'm checking on that, I realize that my sell point 150 actually has a better price than where I was just at. I didn't even check. There we go. Drop that right there. Oh, this thing does not have a very good turning radius. That's all right. We'll just put it right there. Hop on. Oh, wait. There we go. I always forget to shut the motor off. Where is it? Come here, you. We're just going to take this guy right over to the cell point over there. And it's already going to start making us money. I should have checked it. That's the whole reason I bought the darn thing. I probably could have foregone that and not really bought it. But I'm already grateful I did just because I don't have to drive all the way back there to sell this stuff. And we're going to have a little bit more cash. And there it goes. Moving, moving, moving. How much are we getting out of just like four or five thousand liters? Holy cow. There it is. Another 16, almost 17,000. And we have a canola field, which is ready to harvest. So I think, with that, I think I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I don't know. You know what I should do first? I don't want to, but I should, uh, I should get some fertilizing done. Because I don't want my fields... I'm sorry, I'm thinking of 12 different things at the same time. I don't want my fields to go ahead and uh, become mature, ready for harvest, and I have not. No, I didn't want that. I just wanted out. Let me out, let me out. Okay, so where is my JCB? No, no, no. There it is. Do I own a fertilizer spreader, or did I just rent the thing? I, don't, I, I just rented it, but I don't know where it is. Wait. Where is it? I don't know. 24 meters. That is not 24 meters. So we need to go and find it. I'm not sure if it will show up on our map 
or not oh it might be right here and there it is all right that was easy we are gonna head up there and pick that guy up since it's right now Ooh, that looks like a ramp we'll be hitting that guy later this JCB should do pretty good it hauls it hauls butt so we're gonna go pick up the fertilizer spreader and we are gonna get it done well, all right, we've almost got our first headland done, which I think that should be about all we need to do. Now, I'm going to come up here and try to set a worker, but I don't know how well that's going to go. Just because the field's not very straight, obviously. There's the golden cow. We just can't forget the golden cow. <laughs> I, uh, anyway, anywho, we won't talk about the golden cow, will we? We'll just leave that alone. So let's see. Pull up my map. Uh, we need fertilization. Okay. Oh, I missed a little. Air. Oh, that's because it's not grown enough. That is so weird. I'm trying to get it to where it goes here. Where am I at? Okay, so I could be actually over here. Okay, how's that? Not too bad. I got to see here. I don't think I'm over far enough, but hopefully that should do. All right. Yeah, that little spot. Here, let me hop out of here. And zip over here. Now that says growing fertilizer 100%. But then I get over to here and it still says growing, but fertilized is. It changes a lot. That is so funny. I, d I do not understand what happened there. But that's okay. I guess I don't have to understand. It's farm sim. It will be just fine. <laughs> All right. I need to get my equipment over here. We need to get her done. Oh, let's pick up that header. This is going to be like a slow boat to China going on here. This is going to take us a few minutes to get there but I think we can handle it. I have to say that uh, fertilizer spreader we're using over there, I really like it. It holds 4,000 liters, I think it is. It goes, I think it was at 12 miles an hour, and it spreads at 50 meters wide. Now, I didn't cheat, I didn't do anything to it, that's just the way it came. And if it comes that way, it must be legal. That's kind, of, that's kind of my thought on it. It must be legal. Back up just a little bit. A little personal space going on. So we are going to head over there and get our canola field. Rocking and rolling. I want to make... Listen, hold on, hold on. Let's see here. Uh, canola, canola, canola. That should... We've got 8,000 liters of canola already. Where are we at? Uh, 2249 at the freight yard. And 2248 or 58 at the refinery. And I think that's the best. So it's 2249 at the freight yard right here. Seems to be our best price for canola. And that's, that's good enough for me. Wait, oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so I think that's where we're going to go. I'm not sure where that is, so we might as well go ahead and tag that now. So it's tagged. Hot diggity. Oh, pardon me. I'm sorry. There you go. Whoa! Well, that guy's going to let me go. That is very nice of him. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to head to the field and get her going. And here we are. Let's swing around here, grab our header. I think I have a game plan. I want to do this little outcropping right there in front of us. 
do that first and then run a couple of headlands across the uh, the bottom here then we'll run a couple of headlands across the top and then maybe start right on this side and let's see if that will appease the worker and make it so that uh, they can come through here without too much issue and get it done without uh, without missing a whole bunch and I tell you these odd shaped fields sometimes they are a bear to try to figure out what the best way to get them done is because they're so oddly shaped go kind of missed that a little bit but that's okay we'll get it we'll get that taken care of another dilemma that I'm having I'm trying to figure out what the best way to spend our money is I could buy a new field uh, I could upgrade the John Deere because the John Deere is lacking a little bit in horsepower it has the smaller motor but that's going to run about 80 grand to upgrade that. So do you take 80 grand and upgrade the John Deere? Is it going to is it going to last for us or is it just going to be a waste of $80,000? We'll get some of it back if we sell it. This is true. But oh, so it's it's a dilemma. There's a couple fields that would work, I think. I think there's a couple of fields that would work for us. They're not real big. Let's drop it back right here. Let's, uh, here, let's take a quick look here. So we own, well, you know what we own. We own this guy here, uh, the one next to 22, and then this one next to 41. I was thinking about either 40 or 41. If we get it, that's a 221,000 which we could do and that one's 270,000 which we could also do now 40 looks like it would be a little easier for the workers to handle than 41 41 has got a little funky thing up here but it might not be too bad it's at least got a square edge that's something but I am just not sure what I want to do yet do we want to buy more equipment to handle the fields that we have? Or do we want to buy more fields so that we can afford more equipment? Oh, quite the quandary. That's what it is. It is quite the quandary. We, we, we're going to have to figure it out. We're going to have to ponder on this for a little bit. But I think we can come up with a, uh, a good answer. If you, got, if you have any idea of what you think, let me know. I am uh, very curious as to what you think we should do. Uh, I think that one will do for now. That'll do, pig. That'll do. That came from something. I cannot remember what that came from. But I cannot get it out of my head. That, that'll do, pig. That'll do. Uh, if, if you know what that came from, please let me know. Because it's going to drive me crazy I don't know if it was a show if it was a movie don't hit the rock I'll get yelled at oh I hit the rock I'm in trouble I'm in trouble I get in trouble for banging the header around on my combines here I do I really do I get yelled at so I try not to do it but yet here we are come on I can't leave crops there I think I'm also going to uh, plant a little grass around that rock. We're going to end. We're going to end that little problem right there very soon. As soon as we get done harvesting, I'm going to come around and put a little bit of space between the rock and the field, just to make life a little bit easier. It's not going to cost us that much in crop field size, I should say. But I think it's going to make a big difference. Just make it nice and easy. So, all right. Let me finish running a headland across this thing. This thing is a beast. It is so big. All right. Let's get her done. And uh, then we can see if we can get a worker going. 
Well, I came over here to check on my worker here, and they did an outstanding job, I think. Here, let's pull this up. That looks... Oh, stop. I hate it when I do that. Go back. There it is. I figured it out. We'll get there. I, that looks pretty darn good. I don't think that little double blue there is ours. Let's... I don't think it is. Let's go find out here. I want to make sure that we get what we need. Let's pull up that map. Okay, so right here. Well, that is definitely fertilizing that. Oh, see, I think it was that little blue line there. Yes, it must have been. I think we're good. All right, very nice. That one is done and I think it's pretty close to being harvested. It's on the last growth state which is very nice. Let's park this guy over here for right now and we need up oh, we need this one right here. I tell you after doing a little bit of harvesting with that uh, combine there and that header I'm almost pushing for a new combine. These are some big fields to be doing with that little bitty header. And it only does 10,000 liters at a pop. But to buy a new combine, you're looking at 300 and some thousand probably, at least. A minimum of that. And I don't know that I'm ready to drop that kind of money. We may have to either suffer through... Or we might be able to go ahead and the next time we've got a harvest, maybe we can rent. Stay on the road, man. Stay on the road. All right. Let's, uh, nothing. Oh, there is something coming. I think we can beat this guy. There we go. I do have to say, I really like this rig. This is, uh, it's very nice. It does really quite well. It goes at a good clip. The 62. Seems to have plenty of horsepower. I don't know that I will be getting rid of this. I might, you know, change it up a little bit. See if I can make it a different color. Or maybe. I know I will be trading in the trailer at some point in time, but it's doing me just fine right now. So we will definitely leave that alone. Hello there, sheep, I believe. Is it? Wait, wait. I think I got lost. I'm going over there. I is. That's okay. We have a shortcut. Hey, look at all those. Are those silage bins? What is that? Is that the BGA? It is the BGA. There we go. Alright. Anyway. This is not a field, so this is legal. We can do this. Take a little shortcut. I've been playing some SnowRunner, so this is, uh, this is par for the course right here. Alright. Let's find a way into our field. And lucky for us, this field over here is, I think it's planted, but we're not going to run through any crops, so we should be just fine. Right, we're going to pull up here. Our, oh, by the way, our harvester is full. That's as far as we got. Let's go to here. Okay. Open her up. Open her up. Don't hit the truck. Don't hit the truck. Look at that. We stayed out of everybody's fields. Yay, us. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to get this. I think I say that a lot. Let's just get this one unloaded. And we're going to send them up there to finish the headlands. And then try to square off a side and put the helper to work.
They need to work. They, I'm sure they need the money. They don't like sitting around doing nothing. I figured while the worker was going over there, whoa, well, that was a little early. I would come over here and go ahead and, hey, wait. That does not seem to be putting on a growth state or another fertilization going on there. Why does it not? Right? It should be. But. It's still the light blue, so it only has one fertilization state, but yet it is not allowing me to put on another. I am very confused. How about this guy over here? Well, I can't see it because it says that it's not plowed, but I know I plowed it. And that is, that's not doing it either. So, wait, wait, wait. What if I come over here? We got to go turn on the grass. Okay, now. Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. When it's fully grown, you can't fertilize it. On other maps, I know that I have went, I mean, all the way up to where it was burnt orange, I could fertilize it. But I guess I missed my window. So, well, when I do grass, I definitely like for it to get to that final growth state, the darker orange. I just think that uh, that you get more grass when you do that. So we're going to wait at least another growth state for that. But that should be coming up fairly soon. Fairly, fairly, fairly. Anyway, we should hope. I guess I drove over here for absolutely nothing. With that, I guess I can go ahead and return this. All this thing's doing is costing me money. So let's go in here and. Uh, oh, well, we need some repairing going on too. Anyway. I digress. Let's get this. Uh, we didn't even put a full hour in it. Okay. There we go. We may end up needing to buy one of those. Those things are uh, pretty handy to have. We're going to need something for fertilizer anyway. I think the, as long as I don't spend all my money. That looks pretty cookie cutter. Whoa. Oh. I just ran that dude over. Luckily, they're tough. They can handle it. Yeah, they've got houses and stuff on this map, but there's not a lot of detail. I am still unsure about it. I like the bigger fields. There's some things I like about it, but there's also some things that I'm not real uh, fond of. I can't really put my finger on it. But... Oh, actually, I don't need to go back to the field, do I? All right. I'm going to take this guy right here back to the farm, drop him off. And by then, I'm sure we're going to need to empty the harvester. I already emptied it one more time, so we've emptied it twice. But it is filling up uh, quite quickly. But so far, I am, I am pretty uh, happy with the harvester that we have. I don't think we're going to be changing that too soon now once we start getting into a little bit bigger fields we will definitely uh, be needing to upgrade that but so let's get this guy back to the farm drop him off they need a little maintenance need a little fuel we'll get that taken care of and then hop right back over to the field and keep on keeping on okay so I said we were going to jump the little ramp over there. Let's give it a shot. I already tried it once. Let's see. Let's see how we do. Nice and easy. Try to keep up the speed. Uh, oh, that was an epic fail. That was terrible. We got to do that over. We can do so much better. I'm sure of it. 
I need to do something with all that stuff. All right, here we go. Look at that. That was some pretty good distance right there. I'm pretty happy with that. That was uh, that was quite a distance. That was like 25, 30 feet, maybe something like At least I, I'm a poor judge of that. Unless I got a tape measure in my hand. I just don't know. All right, so, oh, I always forget to shut the motor off. There we go. Okay. I've still not decided on what to do with the money. I do think that I'm going to go ahead and keep the combine that we have. What I was wondering, though, which I don't know if we go to headers. Uh, let's go down here to modded headers. We can't really go much more than 9 meters. So there's a 10 meter, but I was looking for something that was around a 9 meter that maybe went a little faster. We don't have anything. We may have something little in a little while. We may have a little a little header that goes a wee bit faster. I think we could probably pull that off. I don't, uh, I think the harvester itself does okay. I mean, it'll fill up much quicker. Let's see, is he doing okay? They have been stopping right at the height of this little hill right here. They've been stopping and saying, oh, I'm done. That's why he's cruising this way with nothing in front of him. Let's uh, see if we can set him straight. I don't know why they're stopping there. But they are. I've had issues like that usually when I've combined fields. And then they like to stop where the boundary of the old field was. But I didn't combine any fields here. This is all the way it was. Let's see. I think I need to do a little repair. Let's go garage and go right to here, and I do need to repair. There we go, 252. Back up to 6 miles an hour. Very nice. Let's hop over. I think I'm going to need my truck pretty darn soon. And Not that truck. This truck. I would have liked to have thought we would have already gotten one truck full out of this field, but... Well, that looks like there's a huge plume of smoke coming from my uh, wait, harvester, but that's just a nasty factory. My goodness, they're putting off some black, black smoke. That cannot be very good. And it's full. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. That'll work out just fine. Alright, pardon me, pardon me. I have to let you go. We can handle this. Alright, so let's get over here. See if I can do this without smacking the truck. And I did, alright. I won't get yelled at for this one anyway, that's something. I don't think this is going to completely finish. This should give us, what, 40,000 liters in there? I believe we get maybe 47,000, I think. I don't know. My memory's not very good. It's about a half inch long. It's not very good. <laughs> it just doesn't do so good. Old age will do that to me, to you, to everybody. Well, not everybody. Not everybody. It's been a long, hard road to get here. All right, there we go. I couldn't tell that it was empty. The darn pipe is the same color as the crop. Makes it difficult. All right, let's get this guy over here. Whoa, back up there, Junior. Back up. Back that thing up. That's right. Okay, and a worker is off and running. Very nice. 
Hopefully we should have this thing wrapped up very shortly. How much do we have in here? 85. Uh, all right. Well, that means I could I could take one more load. We'll get one more load out of this combine and then we'll take it over to our cell point. We do have it tagged. I see the little green line way over there. So where is that? It's over here somewhere. Back up just the freight yard. Okay. Oh, that shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be too bad at all. What do we have here? Oh, the plow. The plow. Let's reset that. I have to say, I really like the reset point on this, that it resets back to the farm. But yet, when you buy it, it's a lot like Lone Oak. When you buy it, it puts it at the shop. So if you want to go ahead and go to the shop and pick it up, doing a role play or something, is at least you can still do that, and it puts it at the shop. But if you're lazy and you're just doing it yourself, you can reset it right to your farm and you're good to go. Hey, look at this little guy. Is that a tree farm? I haven't really seen many tree farms. I don't know. I don't know that I like that all my uh, animal farms are way down here. We've got some cows. The sheep, the pigs, and the horses are all right down here. I think we own all of that. We do. We do. So, all right. Let's see. Let's let the worker get their job done. And that will let us get our job done. All right, so I went ahead and emptied them out one more time. So we're about 95%. I think that's time to go. I need to hold. No, stop that. I need to come over here and shut grass off. Grass is so bright. Okay. What we need to figure out is what is the best way. I guess we will follow this road up and take it back down. There's no direct route, no direct route. Let's do it. We're going to make it. Let's get it. I am curious to see how much money we get. What we got? 45. So we're going to get over $90,000 just out of this truckload. That's going to put us well over the 300,000 mark. Very, very nice. This looks like a dangerous little road right here. Especially for people like me. I could drive right off of this thing. Is that where I need to turn? I think it is. No, it's not. It's up here. It is up here just a bit. We got some trees and things, but... There are no forests. This doesn't seem to be much for a forestry industry wherever this is well it's in Iberian that's <laughs> hey this is about the most trees that I've seen in any one location this truck is pretty nice am I looking at the ground over there hold up Nope, that's just a tray. The way it was, oh, it must have been the shadows. That's what it was. That's my road. There it is. I knew we would find it. So I've still not decided what we're going to buy. But I am leaning towards probably buying another field. I think that is... Whoa, simmer down. Put the coffee down, man. Worry about driving. Sheesh. Not even a guardrail. Holy Toledo. Okay, we are going to get to the cell point. I will see you there. And here we are just that quick what do we got over there they got wait i want to see something here what is this a a phone what is that 
I have never seen such a thing. What in the world is the phone icon for? You can't do anything with it. I don't know. That is very, very peculiar. I do not understand. I just don't know. Hey, we got some trains. Whoa, trains? What in the world is going on here? Oh, okay, money's going up. We'll take it. It's going up quite quickly as well. I was I was a little confused. Just a tad bit. Oh, holy cow. 103,000. Very nice. We're definitely going to be buying a new field, I think. Go big or go home is what they say. Let's try to find my way out of here. Come on, clean up your yard, man. This is ridiculous. All your containers are laying around all willy-nilly. They need to fix that stuff. Come on. Sheesh. All right, we need to go check on the worker. I do not believe they're doing very well. Well, they are nearly full. I did not think they would be doing that well. I figured they would have already stopped. It was at a funky angle. Either way, neither here nor there, let's get her done. So I figured that we might as well start putting some crops in the ground where we've already harvested. There is no sense in just sitting by and waiting for a helper to do their job. And I went ahead and went with oats. Usually oats puts out a pretty good yield, which is nice. And it also puts out straw. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. Usually the prices are pretty good. So we're gonna we're gonna give her a shot. I mean, what else can you do? I didn't really want wheat, so I didn't want barley. Barley's too cheap. It'd be either wheat or oats. We've already did canola. We've got enough uh, soybeans. We we did soybeans in this field already. I do not like to go back to back the same crop. I don't think it makes any difference when you're not running seasons or anything, but it does to me. It just doesn't seem like you should. Seems like you will uh, overwork the ground and drain all the nutrients that the same crop will use. So I think I think we will do just fine with oats. Let's get it to here. All right, turn it off. Back this pig up. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. There we go. Very nice. All right, and crank her on there. So I figure a couple of quick headlands around this guy, and we should be going real slow up the hill. Six miles an hour. Sometimes I kind of wish we had more horsepower, a little bit more butt, because this these hills on this map are a tad bit ridiculous. You need some uh, heavy duty equipment for here. That was one of the reasons I was thinking about upgrading the John Deere. It's only got, what, 290, I think? But you can upgrade it to have a substantial. Let's zip it down over here. We need to run a couple of headlands along this end because of the road. There, turn, turn, turn. Please don't hit that. Okay. You didn't see that little bump. I didn't hit that sign. No, sirree. Okay. Now, our helper should be really, really close to being finished over there. I'm hoping I can get at least the headlands across this, and then maybe we can get a worker started. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to come back and clean up their mess. They always 
Always. Wow, we're down to four. Always leave a mess. Something to clean up. I guess that's okay. That gives us something to do. If they did it all, what fun would that be? Come on. You want to just get out and push when it's going this slow? Come on. You can do it. I mean, this thing has substantial horsepower. I think it's pushing, what, 350 or something like that? The JCB does have some butt, but not enough for this field. And there we go. Let's turn it around. Come on. Go, baby, go. All right. There it is. I think two headlands with this machine, this rig, should be just fine. I guess we'll know soon enough. There we go. I didn't have fast farming on. That's why I was only going four and five miles an hour. <laughs> not really. No, that was not it. That was not it at all. And boom. Okay, shut her off. Back it up, back it up. There we go. Now I think I'm going to come over here and kick this guy in. Right over here. And hopefully it's going to work out. I don't know if it will or won't. Let's see if I go here. Just do a little measure in there. Okay, so what I want to do. So I'm going to try to make this. Oh, it's not going to work out. It is not going to work out. But that's okay. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Back up, back up. And kick a helper on. Alright, so there we go. We got the helper there. Let's scroll on over. What is he still going? He is still going. I am quite impressed. I cannot believe. Let's, let's zoom in a little bit. Let's take a look at her happy worker. Oh, I guess I can believe. See, it's a female. They always do a better job than the males. Don't ask me why. I think that's in the coding somewhere. When you see a worker going all screwy and all over the place, it is usually a guy. I don't know. I don't make up the rules. <laughs> all right, let's let them finish up, and then we're going to go through and clean up all the mess and see how much money we made. And that feud is harvested. I think I'm just going to take this guy right here, and we're going to park him right over here. We're not in anybody's stuff. We're not in anybody's way. Shut that engine off, and that way, when that guy is ready... He will be ready. So we got enough. Does that make sense? I meant when the field is ready, the harvester will be there and will be ready to rock. Instead of driving it all the way back to the farm and driving it all the way back here. That is no good. No good at all. Okay, so we're going to head. Now we got another 28,000 liters. So what would that be? What be 40, 56,000, probably close to 60, 65,000 dollars we're going to get? That's going to put us up over the $400,000 mark. Oh yeah. It is uh it's been a slow road when you start a new map. It is ridiculously hard just to get going. Like I said, in this one I didn't take out any loans. I didn't borrow any money. So I didn't have that. We had $100,000, and that was all we had. I think we did a couple of contracts, which really helped us out. That is for sure. And I'm not saying we won't do more contracts, but that is not the, the main focus on this one. On this Let's Play is uh, not contracts. Use them if I have to, but I prefer to just focus on our own farm let's see if we can get this thing massive and I think we're gonna be able to I think we've got a decent start there's a lot of equipment that we need to buy yet just 
way, way, way too much. We need tractors and harvesters and headers and trailers and trucks and animals and whoo oh my goodness we have a ways to go so let's get to the sell point let's see how much we're gonna get out of this and then maybe we can think about what we're gonna do is this there's a couple of these bumps here that really make for some nice jumps but I don't know if we're gonna get to them or not try to do it without crashing here coming the other way works a little bit better but we're we're topped are we gonna hit air oh a little oh a little whoa stay on the road junior there you go we made it all right we should just be coming up through here taking the s curve cut the corners just like a little dirt a little dirt four there we go <laughs> dirt four in a semi truck all right we should be coming close this is our sell point look at that all right zipping over open the gate please thank you very much all right get her get her don't hit the edge don't hit the edge okay that's interesting I'm wait I'm checking out this train is there Oh, okay. Oh, tracks head right into the mountains. All right, let's see. My guess was 65k. Let's see how close I was. Probably not very, but going, going, going. 64. I take it. That is not too bad. Not too bad at all. And I think that is going to be it for today. I want to thank each of you for tuning in and watching, seeing what we had to do. Hopefully you had a little fun. We got a whole bunch of work done. Made ourselves some cash. So that is a pretty good day in my book. Until next time, see ya!